cruel frailties prevent me from doing more. I must entrust this task to you, as you are the only one who can inherit my previous strength. I have tried my best, but it is simply not enough. I feel my strength failing me as I type this. I do not doubt that my death is imminent. No. In fact, I graciously accept it. Now I can finally rest in peace, but to do so without passing on whatever legacy I had inherited and burdened myself with wouldn't be fair to you or to the world. They, no, we need a new person to take over, and you are that person. You will have great difficulty in dealing with the enemy, I assure you. For the confrontation you must prepare, like I have. Unfortunately, my preparation wasn't enough, as I had to retreat and resign myself to death. Be vigilant. The enemy is quick and merciless. Do not let him catch you in his grasps, for that might be the end of you. Be prepared. The enemy will throw many things your way and you must throw much his way too. You must never run out of supplies or implements. Be crafty. The enemy has many eyes all around. He can see you move. He is battle hardened and knowledgeable. Strike when he least expect it. Strike not when he seems weak, but when he seems stronger than ever. And for the love of God, strike hard. Be fast. Move fast. Think fast. Strike fast. That is how you will win. And be brave. It will take great courage to even approach the entity. Even more to stand against it. That is all I can tell you. The rest you must figure out. I know it seems stupid and unnecessary to delay telling you things of importance, but these are not my secrets. In my travels I have talked to many and encountered much more. I do not expect you to understand right away, but be as quick as possible. Before I finish, I will tell you right now that when the day comes, no one will watch over you but yourself. You will be alone, and you will only need yourself. Now I say goodbye, but before I go, I will tell you again, be quick. Go forth. Time is of the essence.